At the Chicago Botanic Garden, horticulturist Emily Shelton gave me a tour of their rooftop garden. It's really windy up here, Emily. Yes, it is windy. It's one of the challenges of working up here. Well, the plants don't seem to be any less for the wear. No, and actually you'll notice the grasses moving in the breeze, so it's a really mm -hmm. um, kinetic landscape. It adds such here. a dynamic quality yeah. to the experience. Look at this lavender. It's moving along nicely, isn't it? It's pretty happy up here, which makes sense. I mean, to its native habitat, it's yes. a pretty similar environment. Now this this garden, this rooftop garden is, is very new. It's less than a year old, isn't it? It's exactly a year old. Really? Everything that's up here made it through the winter. We haven't done any plant replacements yet, so everything is obviously pretty cold hardy and made it through its first summer with no irrigation. Now, Emily, this is a really big space. I mean, there's a lot of weight here, I guess, that goes into creating a living roof. Yes, we have 16,000 square feet total of growing space between the two different halves. Let's talk a little bit about the plants because you mentioned a moment ago that this is just one half of the rooftop garden. There's another one on the other side of the building. Right. Now this one's dedicated, I guess, to um, maybe a range of things, exotics, but the other one is all native. Exactly. Um, we're on the north roof here, so these are more tried and true green roof plants. So you'll see a lot of um, sedums. We have the three control strips of just sedums and you know a slew of other plants that we know have performed well. Yes, lots of grasses, growers. the good old Russian sage. Yes, exactly. It's a good stalwart yeah. of any sort of tough area. Yeah, penstemons and definitely the grasses you'll see. Um, and the other side is all North American natives, so some plants that are a little more unusual to try on a green roof. And not everything will be successful, but that's the, the purpose of our roof. Well, when you look at this garden, you see that there's a beautiful grid that's set in place, a design with the, the, the metal edging that's here, which I guess is aluminum. And then what you have are these plants set out in a very distinct pattern. It's like a beautiful quilt. Yes, it actually is. I've seen an aerial shot before and it does look like a patchwork quilt. Now for, for gold lead certification for this garden, you were only able to water it initially and then you had to turn the water off. Exactly. We do have permanent irrigation installed, but to maintain that certification, we're not allowed to water past the establishment phase, which is typically one year, yeah. unless we have a new planting. So any plant replacements that we do in years to come, we'll be able to water, but not not just a general irrigation. So we've actually gotten away, this is technically the first year, and I haven't had to irrigate yet. Everything looks like it's thriving. Yeah, I think so. And we've had a hot summer. I yeah. mean, it's been fairly hot and dry, but we have had rainfall at pretty critical points. So that's Well, I just think it's exceptional, and hats off. Well, thank you. Yeah.